Well, it's the morning of day six. Beautiful morning. There's a little bit of blue sky over there. Uh, it's uh, a lot of white sky over there. The sun is sort of out. And uh, getting ready to have some breakfast. Pack up the campsite. Uh, or uh, what I have is a lot of damp clothes. Um, and so I'm left wearing uh, some long johns. Some long johns, shorts, PJs. Whatever I can come up with. Because it's kind of chilly this morning too. Uh, to avoid having to put on uh, wet jeans. It's one thing to be wearing jeans and you get them wet and then you wear them around for a while. It's another to wake up and put on cold wet jeans. I have a little pancake for breakfast here, which I made on that little pan. No flipper, I used a fork. Turned out okay. Looking forward to it. Okay, so here's the deal with whether or not I should stay one more night. It's a beautiful day today. Today would be a great day. Uh, you know, to, to set up camp and to, to dry my clothes and that kind of thing. Um, but it was also it would also be a good day, you know, for the portaging. If I stay one more night, I risk tomorrow being a miserable rainy day and I have to portage out of here in the rain. Um, there's no guarantee that I can dry my clothes tonight. So I think today will be the last day. I'm just going to hike out of here. Having another look at the map here, planning the, the trip out today. So I'm uh, I'm right here on the side above the thumbnail. It's a windy day today, and it appears that the wind is coming out of the south, slightly to the east. And so that's what I think I'm going to do is I want to hug the south shore all along, um, and I'm hoping that the trees and the train will shelter me quite a bit. I should be able to take that all the way to the portage here um, and then uh, use a, a similar idea uh, across Kitty and uh, down through Farm as well uh, onto the way out. This might be what they call windbound. I've heard of people having to stay on a lake if they're just going across it. It might be one of those days. Uh, I really only made it from my campsite to the next campsite on the same island. That's where uh, I was going to stay uh, two days ago and then, and then change my mind. small little channels in the lake too. At some point I am gonna have to power across that. And hopefully as I get down that way I can get a little shelter from the, from the wind. Okay, I've made it to the end of my island and I'm ready to cross the uh, you know the, the small uh, channel over to the mainland try to hug that south shore as I go along. And, uh, well, the only thing left to do now is... Okay, well, I made it across Booth. That was intense. Yeah, there was no way I was going to make it across open water. So, I basically uh, I hugged the, the shore like I planned. Uh, and there was really nowhere to hide from this wind. Except for right here. I'm uh, picking up the pace a little bit. Something about knowing that this last canoe carry is going to be, uh, well, the last 
Well, the last one, really. Except for the 90 meter ahead, which is kind of a joke. But, uh, I'm on my way out of the park, and, and, uh, it's not just uh, up and out, it's, it's a day in itself, just getting out of here. And I'm still enjoying it, having a good time. This is the ninth time I've been through here, and I don't remember this mud hole. I'll go this way. Ah, now I remember it. Just on the 90 meter portage from Kitty with the farm. I only saw a little bit of farm a couple days ago when I came through here. And I don't know how big it really is. And even, even Kitty um, had a bit of a time with the wind today. So, I'm going to stop here, have some lunch, get a drink, and then uh, the next stop really will be the access point. I'll check in, and, and since I'm out a day early, I'll get a little bit of a back. Okay, and this is it. up into some bog here. Just take a little rest stop here and have a little snack, some drink, check my map. Having a look at the map here. Let's uh, check my know, check my compass, which you can't really see, but I can here. And then check the lake. So the, yeah, the lake here on the map. So from what I can tell, I'm now sitting at this point right here beside some bog. There's the bog. Okay. And that bog goes um, between a couple of big hills. And there they are. You can't really see that hill. but um, And right across from me should be a campsite on an island. And there it is. Which means I need to go around that corner and a kilometer down the length down the uh, down the lake and it gets really narrow so it'll be a lot like a river I suppose there's a loon over there I've been trying to get a video of a loon all week and here I am literally meters from my access point and here's one They can stay down for a long time. The seagull is keeping an eye out too, hoping for droppings, I guess. Little bits that the loon catches and doesn't eat. Oh yeah, look at that. Buzzing the loon.
Well, here's my car. I'm back. I just have one last thing to do. Didn't want to take a chance on losing this, so I stowed it away. <laughs> 